Today I'm going to show you how to create a supercharged 2021 vision board that's going to help you manifest your dreams into reality so that they can come true. What's up fam? Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome for the first time, I guess. My name is Marissa and I am a minimalist mom and why am I creating a vision board? I am a huge fan of vision boards because it helps me focus on what I'm trying to achieve. And I have a lot of goals for myself. In the past, I set goals for decluttering my home. We decluttered our entire home down to eight suitcases and moved to Europe. And I've also set goals about finding a house, getting my dream kitchen, lots of other things. And they actually came true in 2020, which is just totally blows my mind. So now I'm gonna teach you how to get everything that you wanted with a supercharged 2021 vision board. When we talk about creating a vision board, what is a vision board anyway? The idea behind a vision board is you use images or quotes or words that inspire you and help you visualize your goals so that you can take them from dreams and thoughts into reality. If you've never heard of vision boards or dream boards before, this concept can sound a little odd or maybe woo woo, but let me tell you, visualization has actually been used from everything from meditation to athletic competitions to learning new skills. When you watch someone pick up an apple, the part of your brain that actually controls your body that would move to pick up the apple activates in response to watching that. The same thing goes with visualization. And I'm not just saying this as someone who's read this. This is something that I actually used and put into practice when I worked as a speech language pathologist with adult and geriatric populations in a rehabilitation hospital. Now in pop culture, you see examples of visualization as recently as the Queen's Gambit. When Beth goes to bed, what she does is she visualizes the chessboard up on the ceiling and it becomes this kind of almost magical moment where she's improving her skills even though she's not playing because she's visualizing it so vividly and practicing in her mind's eye. I like to think of a vision board as one part magic and one part science. Okay, so when we talk about vision boards, what kind of vision board do you want to make? And I'm a firm believer that you can make any kind of vision board that you want and it will be effective. If you want to make a digital vision board on Pinterest, that is okay. I'm going to be making my vision board in my office right on the wall in front of me so that when I'm working and doing things in my office, I'm gonna be seeing it and I have my goals right there in front of my face. You can also do collage vision boards where you cut out pieces and you paste them onto a poster board or inside a frame. Or I've also seen people just do them on their bedroom wall or on a door in their room. Literally any flat surface can become a vision board. Whatever works for you and your space. I'm super pumped for this video. I hope that you are too. If you are, give this video a like and go down to the comment section and I want you to drop me at least one emoji that represents something that you're trying to achieve for yourself in 2021 and let's get started. All right, so let's talk about vision board supplies. The number one thing that you need to start with is a positive mindset. Try to get in a good headspace before you start making your vision board and come into it with the idea that you can achieve absolutely anything that you want to. And you really need to believe that. You believe, achieve, receive. Believe it can be so, you achieve it, and then you receive it gratefully. After the positive mindset, I already said you're going to need some kind of large flat surface to work with or use your phone and create it on a digital space. Today I'm going to be using the wall grid that you see behind me. You need photos, which I have some photos here. You need photos, quotes, objects, or words that represent the goals that you're trying to achieve. And then you also need scissors, and depending on what kind of vision board you make, you might need to have glue or double-sided tape or some other kind of adhesive. If you're making a collage type, you need to be able to stick your images once you cut them out to the poster board. You also either need a printer or you need to go somewhere that can print out your photos so that you can have them. Unfortunately, I found that my husband's printer 
was not strong enough to print out this lovely, nice sturdy cardstock that I have. I'm actually going to be cutting things off of the paper and sticking them to the heavier cardstock because I'm concerned that just putting paper on my wall grid, it's not gonna last that long and I want it to last all year. And the final thing that you need once you get your vision board completed is the actual drive to go out there and work towards achieving your goals. A vision board is completely useless if you don't take action to make your dreams come true. Next step is optional, but my, for myself, I like to write out the goals that I want to achieve for myself. Once I have my goals, then I have the idea of the images that I'm going to be looking for and I can go and search for powerful images and objects that represent and help me visualize those goals. Before we talk about how you find the images, I'm gonna share my 2021 goals with you so you can see how the images that I find relate to those goals. My big 2021 goals for myself are number one, be able to have a conversation in German by the end of the year. Number two, drink more water, eat healthier, and exercise twice a week. And number three, improve my YouTube videos and grow my channel to 100,000 Zen family members. And then uh, besides those hard goals, I also have some soft goals, which are things like be a happy family, travel, which knock on wood, like I hope we can actually travel in 2021. And then besides that, I'm also always thinking about manifesting money and creating wealth and abundance in my life. That's always something that is on my vision board. And I'm spe very specifically, but oddly, trying to manifest a chinoisier vase for my office for this bamboo guy that's over in the corner. So you can use magazines, but I feel personally that magazines can be a little bit hit or miss. So where I like to start is I like to start with Google and Pinterest. And when I search for things that are related to my keywords, let's say I search for eat healthy and I come up with beautiful pictures of like salads and and avocado toast and water, then I'll pin whatever I like to my board on Pinterest and start collecting those ideas there. Then once I have those ideas in my Pinterest vision board, then what I do is I go through and I scan and I delete the ones that I feel like don't exactly fit the goals that I'm going for. So first kind of just gather ideas and then go back later and trim down and see what you like the best. Now, like, come here. This is my like super duper secret manifesting tip. Don't feel like you just have to take any random image from the internet. You can personalize things to make it exactly for you and that's gonna be even more powerful. I said I wanted to learn to speak German, right? So I here created a picture of me. This is one of my favorite pictures of myself sitting in my chair in my husband's office. You can see how I took an image and I overlaid text to create a super powerful image of myself saying, not saying I want to speak German, saying I do speak excellent German. You want to say and think things as if they already exist in reality. That's one of the power, most powerful things for law of attraction. I created this image myself as well. So I got these three images of stuff that look really yummy and tasty, but still healthy to me. And I also wrote up here, I am healthy because I want to start seeing myself as a healthy person. And when I see myself as a healthy person, I'll be more likely to make healthy food and healthy drink choices. This is the chinoisier vase that I hope to manifest. And then these, I literally gasped out loud when I saw those images because one of my absolute favorite quotes is, Everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. And back when I used to be a hoarder, I was so scared to declutter everything because I was scared that I would miss things. 
Um, especially because I'd lost my mother when I was nine, my father when I was in my early 20s, and I lost eight people that same year. And I was terrified by the idea of getting rid of stuff. And I found the idea of minimalism. And I was excited, but I was still scared. And then that quote came to me and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna let fear hold me back anymore. I thought about putting that quote on my vision board, but then I thought, I don't want the word fear on my vision board because I'm afraid that it's going to bring fear into my heart. And then when I was on Pinterest, I was looking and I saw those two images and one is of a girl doing a yoga pose and it reads, give yourself permission to let go, which as a hoarder, I love that. That was so meaningful to me. Give yourself permission to let go. It's okay to let go. And then the second image is the same image of a girl holding the sun and it says, it's time to finally accept your true purpose. And when I saw that, I felt like it was a sign. I realized in that instant, I've also been letting fear hold me back on my YouTube channel. Why am I crying so much for this? I realized that I'd been letting fear hold me back from sharing everything that I feel that I should share to help more people on YouTube. And when I saw this image of the woman, such a positive image, saying it's finally time to accept your true purpose, I felt it was truly like someone was reaching out and speaking directly to me. And, and I actually did order these two as cards from the artist on Society6. She has cards, she has posters, she has art, and I will link it down in the description below if you want to go take a look because I feel like her images are just so positive and empowering. I can't wait to get them. And then something else that I mentioned that I want to do is I want to grow to 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. That's just the byproduct. I want to accept my true purpose, which is helping people, people like me, stop crying. I want to help people like me who had trouble letting go, who let stuff and clutter and fear hold them back for so long. That's my true purpose. I'm going to go back and I have taken screenshots of all of the positive comments that people have left me. I have had just some absolutely beautiful comments from people that say I changed their life. And what I did to supercharge that vision board, that part of my vision board, is I put a YouTube 100,000 subscriber plaque here. And I put my name, Marissa Zen, inside of it. And then I put the words, thank you, going around it in a circle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this clipboard and I'm gonna hang it on the wall grid behind me. And every time somebody leaves me a positive comment that says, I love your channel, you helped me so much, I was able to let go of something because of you, or you inspire me, anything, any positive comment like that, I'm going to screenshot it, I'm going to cut it out, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange it, I'm going to glue it onto here, radiating out like a flower or like rays of the sun. And I'm gonna do that at least until I hit 100. I think I have about 50 right now. And it's also functional because don't just think that there's uh, you know, this plaque here. Also underneath it, I'm going to be having my uh, monthly expense tracker, which if your goal is to save money, you should definitely go and get this. It's totally free on my blog. I always keep a track of our monthly expenses, part of my money goals, which is always to save our family as much money as possible. So part beauty, part function, vision, reality, it's awesome. I don't know what this goat is trying to tell me. He was in one of my kids' magazines that they got for reading from school. I am obsessed with him. I can't get enough of his happy, smiling face. So he's gonna go on my wall too, I think. And I've had people ask me, did I keep anything from my mother? 
when I decluttered the 30 years of clutter. This is a card that my mother gave to me. I'm not sure how old I was when she gave it to me, but it's a fairy. I loved fairies. I still love fairies. And it says, may all your dreams come true. And on the inside, it says, I love you, Marissa. XOX, mommy, XOX. Y'all, my mom's handwriting was off the hook. It's so much better than mine. What could be more powerful of a wish than my dead mother's wish for all my dreams to come true? And my dreams are now to help people achieve their dreams and find peace and unclutter their lives. Now that we've finished crying our eyeballs out over my power objects, let's dig in and start cutting out these images and we're going to start putting them on the board. go and try to remove the label off of this really quick. Okay, I got the label off and just like that, I have a super cute aesthetically pleasing jar that I'm going to use to put some felt balls inside for a little pop of color and functional craft storage. Oh my gosh, you guys, it looks so good. I am literally in awe of how amazing this vision board turned out. And not only was I able to fit a lot of the things that I wanted to fit, but I was able to fit a little bit extra. So I realized that I have this beautiful shelf and I have a fairy bridge from Germany, right? And then I have my dream fairy manifesting for me. Why not have the king of fairy tales himself Hans Christian Andersen. So this book was given to me by my cousin who actually watches my YouTube channel. So hey cuz, uh, I put my Hans Christian Andersen super old antique fairy tale book here and then also a book by my favorite poet, Billy Collins. And then this is a thrift store find. I found this for like $4 or $2 in a bundle of paintbrushes at the thrift store. It reminds me of the calligraphy brushes that my father-in-law uses. And this brush is like a $200 brush and I scored it in a bundle of brushes for super, super cheap. So this is one of my best thrift store finds. I need this good thrift store magic so that when I try to manifest my chinoisier vase for my bamboo plant over there in the corner, I can have some good luck finding that because that baby already sold and the website that it sold on was, it sold for a thousand dollars and mama ain't paying that much. <laughs> I literally just realized what the goat symbolizes. G-O-A-T. Greatest of all time. <laughs> 